Curator comes with a great number of uh, reports already generated and uh, particularly many reports that have to do with compliance uh, uh, are already created uh, as p for specific sections of uh, the different compliance uh, regulations that you may have. But you can actually create your very own uh, report uh, or you can modify an existing one for example we can see this one that is missing patches in here that was already run and, and you know that it has been run because it has this uh, icon that shows that the PDF has been created and we can actually uh, see that one in here but if you want to create your own report and, and notice that most of the report if not all of them are uh, analogous to a search so for example let's say that we have a, a here in in the vulnerabilities section we have in here a search that is include uh, PCI failures equal yes and we have that uh, as a safe search in here this is PCI failures right so when so if we want to see this in a report all we need to do is actually go into the report tab and start working on a new report so we're going to create a report uh, that's a welcome screen of the wizard. We specify whether we want to run this automatically or manually. If we're going to choose manually, we're going to use just one type of uh, chart. You can have multiple panes with different graphs, and you know, you can make it as sophisticated as you want. And I'm going to call these PCI failures. And uh, the logo. You can actually. I'm going to show you how you can actually select the, the 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 default logo, and you can put your your own logo here. Um, and here on the chart, I'm going to select uh, vulnerabilities. When I click next, I can put on the chart title here uh, PCI fails. And I can specify whether I want this as a graph, as a stack bar, you know, whatever you actually want to use. And here we specify what search you want to use. And the search that I want to use is actually PCI failures. And it's here you specify you want to group those, send in the sending. You save the container uh, details and you move uh, on to the next part of it. And this is a sample of what type of graph is going to be generated. We click next here you specify where you want it in what format you want the the actual report it's actually self-explanatory who wants to be able to view these uh, this actual report you can select all users or these users that are in the system you can specify whether you want to email uh, the actual reports which is something that um, many customers actually want to do and you specify here if you want to save the report in any specific section so you can find it easy uh, later and then that's that's all it is and when you uh, when you do that uh, the actual report is uh, gets uh, generated gets uh, created as you can see the report is actually being generated it, it runs the first time that you actually uh, run it and here it just uh, finished and if we click on the actual icon Let me make the screen a little bigger here so I can scroll into it if I can click here you know not a, not a great chart but it's just a way of showing you know uh, the type of options that that you can do with the reporting the logo you can actually go here and specify on the branding section you can import the JPEG that you actually want to put uh, to give uh, the specific uh, logo you want